if within the database if you want to extract the name of the month or if you want to extract hour minutes seconds from time in that condition date and time functions are used in sql in our today's session we will be discussing about how these date and time functions can be used in sql so hello everyone and a very warm welcome to ws cube tech as we are going to discuss about date and time functions today so let's get started guys <laughs> Before we start the video, if you want to become a successful data analyst with WS Cube, then WS Cube Tech is bringing their premium data analytics mentorship program. Its cohort 2 is launching in September. So if you want to be a part of this journey with WS Cube, then click on apply now. Now let's get started guys. So for date and time functions from this database, I'm going to orders. In orders, we have order date, required date, and we also have the ship date that when the order was placed, when it was required from the vendor and then when it was shipped. Okay. Similarly, if I want to extract, let's say, if I want to extract the months over here, let's say. Similarly, if I want to extract the months over here, in that case, I will be using select order date comma month of we need to find the month of order date from orders and if I run this you can see we have obtained the month numbers over here similarly we have month name as well so if I write month we have month name and if I provide the same order date inside it and if I run it this is how it looks like so we can obtain the name of the month as well as the number of the month as well we can also obtain the year in which year this order was placed. So similarly, so let's bring it to the next line and over here I'll put a comma and here from our order date. If I run this, so we can obtain the year as well. Similarly, you can also obtain the hour or if you want to obtain the day. So we can obtain the day as well. So I'll just write day from order date. And let's put a comma over here. And we also have the day number. We also have the month number, month name, and also the year. Similarly, if you have time in your database, you can extract hours, minutes, or even seconds from those times. Also, you can find the differences between two dates as well. So here, if I call it again, so if I write select everything from orders, and if I run this and instead of everything I have written 8. Okay. So here we have order date, required date and ship date. I want to check that how much was the difference between the order date and the shipped date. So for that I will be using select date difference. In date difference we have order date comma shipped date from orders. And let's call it once again. Here we have the values and the order should be shipped date minus order date because shipped date is greater than order date. But you can do one more thing over here. We can use absolute function as well so that it will convert all the negative values to the positive values. And if I run this, so all the negative and positive have been converted. And let's do it in this way. Like I want everything. And in the end, I want the date difference. So here we, we have the first shipped date as 10th and the order date was 6. The difference is of 4 days. Here we have 11th as shipped date minus 9 of January 2003. So it is the difference of 2 days. This is how we can find the difference as well. And if you don't want to use this absolute function in that case, you can just change this one to shipped date and the second one would become order date and if I run it again this is how it looks like so even if you ever get a negative value you can just use absolute in front of it and it will convert it into positive values it won't do anything with the details it won't do anything with the numbers but it will all only convert negative value to a positive value so I hope uh, how date functions are used that is clear to you similarly you can use time functions as well we have hour minutes in seconds so if you want if you have uh, data of time in your data so in that case, you can use our minutes and seconds. I hope there are no doubts and no questions on how we can use date and time functions in SQL. Stay connected guys for more such videos. Thank you.